यू आर लिसनिंग मनोपात्रा पॉडकास्ट स्टे ट्यून टू गेट लेटेस्ट लीगल अपडेट्स Manupatra brings to you the news highlights of 24th April 2023 starting with the Supreme Court The Supreme Court has observed that wherever prosecution is of the opinion that the crime an accused is convicted for is so grave that that sentence is warranted it should carry out the exercise of placing materials in terms of Manoj versus State of Madhya Pradesh for evaluation before the trial court The court has held that when cabinet subcommittee is merely acting on behalf of entire council of ministers then it cannot be claimed that rules of business were not followed by the state government News highlights on the high courts starting with the Bombay High Court The Bombay High Court while observing that Goa value added tax 12th amendment act 2020 is an impermissible judicial override defying doctrine of separation of powers has held that delaying issue of sanctions indefinitely state cannot arbitrarily deprive parties interests by way of compensation the high court while considering petition challenging it amendment rules 2023 allowing government's fact checking unit to identify fake news about government policies etc has observed that problem is that the rule however well intentioned do not have necessary guardrails News highlights from other high courts in the country. The Delhi High Court while dismissing petition seeking transfer of further investigation in a sexual harassment case from the State Police to Central Bureau of Investigation has observed that investigation cannot be transferred to CBI merely because litigant feels she is being unfairly prejudiced. The Karnataka High Court while upholding the constitutional validity of Section 37A of Foreign Exchange Management Act stating that it does not suffer from any manifest arbitrariness has rejected the petition by Jomi India challenging order confirming seizure of rupees 5551.27 crores of the company by enforcement directorate The Guwahati High Court has directed the state to provide the exact number of temporary shelter camps in the entire state wherein people who have been displaced on account of eviction drives report must include gender wise distribution as well as number of children sheltered in all these camps this concludes the news for today thank you so much like share and subscribe on watra's youtube channel